guys, a uh, cool video lined up for you guys today. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the Racetech 119. Um, Racetech's a company based out in New Zealand. They do have facilities here in the US. Safety is a huge, huge thing and seats are of the utmost importance. What connects you to the car is a seat and a harness. So those two, in my opinion, um, are things you shouldn't really skimp on. The Racetech 119 is a seat that a lot of our cars have and a lot of our customer cars have. After working with uh, Justin at, at Magic Develop for a, a while, um, I've been fully converted over to Racetech. These seats wear way nicer than Recaro's, in my opinion. The seats in the 25-hour cars look brand new still after several years of just pure abuse to them. So uh, this is Justin Ross's personal seat that we'll be unboxing and showing off to you guys and showing you guys a few uh, features that we really like in these seats. Um, and hopefully you'll gain a little bit of knowledge. And if you have any questions about Racetech seats, uh, hit up Racetech or hit us up at Magic Developed or email us at info at magicdeveloped.io. So let's uh, take a look at the seat. All right, so this is the Racetech 119 right here. Uh, comes from Racetech with uh, seat mounting bolts. Uh, these are six millimeter Allen sockets. Removable seat cushion right here. Uh, all of our cars, we recommend not having them. You, you sit lower in the car, you get a better uh, sense of how the car feels. Um, what's really cool about this back pad here, it's, uh, if you notice right here, it has a, it's hollowed out. You can actually put a Ram Air vent in the back through like a NACA duct or if you have a blower fan, you can just uh, feed yourself cool air through the back here. Um, and then this is probably the coolest thing about the Racetech 119, which is it comes pre-tapped with uh, the same six millimeter Allen bolts to run a back brace to your roll cage. If you notice when you watch people's on-track videos, sometimes the seat actually moves. Um, so this is just another uh, point of security to help keep you guys safe. So uh, we also have from Racetech uh, the seat brackets for the car. Uh, this would bolt onto the seat right here and then this goes towards the uh, your harness bar. And then Racetech does provide uh, nice billet aluminum clamps for your uh, harness bar. Uh, it extends the life of your seat adds that extra point of security for your seat as well. We also have these uh, cool Racetech seat mounts. Um, plenty of adjustability to get that, that perfect rake on your seat, um, to dial in your driving position however you want it. Um, I personally like it with it tilted, uh, tilts back a little bit. And the Racetechs give a ton of adjustment, way more than I've seen in uh, any of the, the Honda centered uh, seat brackets. Thank you guys for uh, checking out our unboxing and review of the Racetech 119. Again, this is our favorite seat here at Magic Developed. Uh, if you have any questions on uh, what seat is right for you and your type of motorsport, or if you fit a Racetech seat, um, come, come see us at the track. That's probably the best way to do it. Uh, go to your local HPDE day or NASA race day and see what's in the paddock. Um, that'll tell you kind of what the quality seats are. You're going to see a lot of uh, race techs. You're going to see a lot of uh, Sparco, OMP, Recaro, those types of seats. But I think race tech is miles ahead of everyone in terms of comfort, in terms of durability, and in terms of safety. Um, if you have any questions, uh, hit us up, info at magicdevelop.io. Thank you.